Hey guys, welcome to today's video and welcome on into my beauty stash. Today we're going to be talking about the new holiday collection from Hourglass. I picked up, and let me make sure I get the official name right, the Ambient Lighting Edit Unlocked Palettes. Now there were three different color stories that dropped in three different palettes. I want to mention that the Owl palette is an empty palette and you can choose amongst the other three color stories that they released and put any one of them in the owl palette so i'm going to put my graphic up here that i uploaded to my community section and over on my instagram so that you can see what each palette looks like up at the top i believe is the uh, snake palette so i actually chose the snake color story but with the owl packaging okay next up is the tiger palette that one i chose not to get because i have some of those shades already in my other hourglass palettes and as as singles as well um but you can if you didn't like that tiger packaging you could of course take in that color story and put it into any of the other palettes that they had and then i chose to get the jellyfish palette which has quite a few new shades. I believe they're all new except for two shades. So four out of the six shades are new. Um, going back up to the snake palette, uh, five out of the six shades are new. Now, and if we take a look at the color stories, you'll see that the deepest color story is the snake palette, uh, followed by what I would say would be the tiger and then the jellyfish I think would be the lightest. I am going to be doing so many swatches and comparisons. I have all three of last year's palettes here. We're gonna compare. I'm gonna give you guys some dupe alternatives. These palettes went up in price, if I'm not mistaken, because I believe last year's palettes were $80. This year, they retail for $90 a piece. That is a very hefty price tag. If I can find some kind of coupon, discount code trust me i will have it in the description box but uh, i ordered these straight from the hourglass website i do want to mention that they do go to sephora and ulta however you are not able to customize over there so if you like me if you liked the snake color story but you didn't want the snake packaging maybe you wanted the owl packaging or the jellyfish packaging you can only do that on hourglass so for those of you that that want to wait until they go to sephora and ulta you're Gonna have to buy the pre-made palette now again owl palette the owl was the only one that was empty there was no color story for the owl palette i am so excited to try these on i have a blank canvas minus the eye look which i use the new wet and wild fantasy makers 2023 collection their halloween collection you'll see that video go up uh, probably after you see this one but I, I will have everything that i'm using in today's video linked and listed in the description box some of those things might be affiliate links so if you do end up shopping through them thank you so so much for supporting me and my channel i am so excited for this video if it is your first time here i think you picked a great video to tune into my name is steph and i love trying out new makeup i am primarily a new makeup review channel but i do multiple looks with eyeshadow palettes get ready get ready with me style of videos all of that good stuff we have a great time talking about makeup and i want to invite you to become part of our makeup family do me a favor click on that subscribe button hit the bell next to it that way you can be notified every time I do drop a new video and if you're a fan of hourglass if you ordered these and are wondering how are they gonna swatch what are they gonna look like in person I am here to tell you I got you covered give this video a thumbs up before you go let's get started we're gonna move on over to the other side of my filming room we're gonna do some up close arm swatches finger swatches all that good stuff give you guys a good look at the palettes that I picked up and I think I have almost all of the shades that were in the tiger palette so that way I can show you guys those shades as well if you all want to see these new hourglass holiday palettes in action keep on watching Okay, so here is a closer look at the palettes. I want to point out that these are made in Italy. So it's a baked formula that is made in Italy. They say they're good for 12 months after opening, although I've had mine much longer, my other hourglass powders. And the net weight in here is going to be 1.4 grams. We'll start swatching out the jellyfish palette first. It's an up close look at what that looks like. 
and this is the tin packaging. Now in this one, I believe we are getting four new shades and two pre-existing shades. I'll have it running down here at the bottom, which of the uh, shades are new. So if it doesn't say new, that's because it's pre-existing. Now, some of these are gonna be a little hard to see, especially like these two shades. These are the two finishing powders in this palette. This first one that I'm gonna go in with is called Diffused Light. And I do not believe this is a new one. So that's what it looks like on my finger. You'll see this better on my finger than you will when I swatch it here on my arm because it's just gonna blend, yeah, right into my skin tone. But it's supposed to give like a soft candle lit diffused look to the complexion. Next, we're gonna go in with the first blush shade. This one is called Rose Fusion. And there you can see what it looks like. Put that one right here. I love that these are baked. Something about a baked formula just gives a nice soft glow to the complexion. Next, we have the only highlighter in this palette, and it's the shade right here. This one is the Metallic Strobe Powder in the shade Opal Strobe Light. And that's what it looks like. I will say Hourglass makes some beautiful highlighters, some of the best out there. Next, we're going in with the only bronzer that is in this Jellyfish palette, and this is the bronzer in the shade Lunar Bronze. That's what it looks like swatched on my finger. Let's swatch it on my arm. I think this is going to be a nice shade for those of you who have a fair complexion. Next, we have the second blush in this palette, and this blush is called Diffused Heat. That's what it looks like swatched on my finger. Very pale pink shade. I'm going to add a little bit more. Now we have one more diffuse powder, or one more finishing powder, I should say, and it is this one right here. This one is going to be the shade Ethereal Light. And this is what Ethereal Light looks like swatched on my finger, and let's apply it now to my arm. Look at just how easy that blends into the skin, and I'm not even using a brush. So here is the Jellyfish palette swatched. This is definitely going to be a nice palette for those of you with fair to light skin tones. I would recommend this one. And again, if you order from the Hourglass website, which right now is the only place you can order from, you can customize it. If you don't like the Jellyfish, you can choose one of the other packagings. Now let's talk about the Owl palette. Same weight, same layout, everything like that. But look at how pretty that Owl is. I love the white, like cream background. It's just such a clean looking palette. This is the Snake Color Story. So this is the deepest color story of the three that Hourglass released and I just chose to get it in the owl packaging. Now this snake color story is the only one that has five new shades and one pre-existing shade. And of course at the bottom, I will let you know which of the shades are new. Let's start first with this one right here. This is gonna be a finishing powder. This one is called Radiant Light. That's what Radiant Light looks like swatched on my finger. Let's put it on my arm. So for me, like I could probably wear this more so as a highlighter than as a finishing powder. Why is my camera not wanting to focus? So next we have the first of three blushes. This is a blush, this is a blush, and this is a blush. This blush right here, this one is called Coral Haze. This looks so pretty. There you can see it. I'm gonna add some more. The nice thing about these hourglass shadows or shades, powders, is that they are very uh, buildable and easy to blend. You can't 
You can't make a mistake with these. They're very foolproof. Next up is the only highlighter that is in this palette, and this is the Metallic Strobe Highlighter in the shade Infinite Strobe Light. That's what it looks like swatched. Very pretty on somebody with a deeper skin tone than me. I could use that as like a, an eyeshadow even. Next, we have the second blush that is in this palette. This blush is called Sunbeam. That is what Sunbeam looks like swatched. And here it is on my arm. That is stunning. I think I have a dupe for that one already. I'm already thinking about what I'm going to be duping these shadows with because I understand $90 is a very hefty price tag. Um, here is the third and final blush that is in this palette. This one is called Mystic Flush. That's what it looks like swatched on my finger. We'll put it here on my arm. You can see that this one, when compared to the one next to it, this one has a lot more sparkle than this one does. This is more diffused, a soft sheen versus this blush that is very, a very glowy blush. And then finally, we have the only bronzer that is in this palette. This is the shade Solar Bronze. That's what it looks like swatched on my finger. Let's apply it here to my arm. That's very pretty. So here is the Snake palette or the Snake Color Story, I should say, swatched. And again, this is the deepest color story out of all three palettes. Hourglass, we need to work on that. These are not deep enough. I know that these shades are not going to show up on some of you, unfortunately. And unfortunately, that is something Hourglass has struggled with many times in the past when they release, you know, different powders and such, which is very unfortunate. But anyway, this is what the snake palette looks like, the snake color story, just with the owl packaging. All right, so I brought out these other little hourglass palettes that I have because I have four out of the six shades that are in the tiger palette. Let me just put a picture of the tiger palette right here. I'll try and put a little picture, leave it in the corner. Um, but let me tell you which ones and swatch out the ones that I have. So the first one is going to be from last year's elephant palette, and it's going to be the finishing powder in the shade dim light which is this one right here. Let me go ahead and swatch that out on my finger first. So that's what dim light looks like. Again, this is a finishing powder. I know you can barely see it, but it's there. This one is um, in the Tiger palette. It's the first shade. The next is going to be a highlighter, and it's called Celestial Strobe Highlighter. And it's going to come to us from the Butterfly palette that was released last year. Which shade is it? Celestial Strobe. It's going to be the last one, so shade number six. It is this one down here. That's what it looks like swatched on my finger. Let's put it on my arm. That's beautiful. Again, Hourglass makes some beautiful, beautiful highlighters. Now, the first blush shade in the Tiger palette is this one right here that I have in travel size. And this one is called Mood Exposure. I've had this for years and it still keeps going. It is a very soft, pink shade, but it gives such a pretty flush to the complexion. Now the next shade in the Tiger palette is called Incandescent Rose. I do not have that shade, but if I go back to the Elephant palette, I have this shade right here. This shade is called number six, Radiant Rose. So I'm going to swatch out this shade. That way you guys can see what it looks like. There it is swatched on my finger. Okay, so far so good. The next shade in the Tiger palette, this year's Tiger palette is E ethereal flush. I do not have that one. That is a new blush shade. So I'm going to skip over it and go to the bronzer that I do have, which is this one in the travel size. This is lustrous bronze light. 
And again, I've had this one for a while and it still does a great job. I think the travel size are about 25, 25 bucks, 30 bucks maybe, they probably went up. But here are at least four or five shades from the Tiger palette, just so you can have an idea of what it would look like swatched. Once again, I didn't get Tiger because it was the palette with the fewest new shades. There was just one new shade and it was a blush. And I figured, you know, I knew I had some of these other shades in my stash already, if not together, then separate. And it turns out I sure did. I made the right call. Now let's try to find dupes for the palettes that I currently have. Okay, so I quickly just wanted to show you guys some comparisons. Here are my Wet n Wild highlighters, a few of them that I have. Uh, these should all be available and I'll have the Wet n Wild highlighters linked, but you can see just how similar in shade and tone it is to what you're getting in Hourglass, especially like this one right here. This one is Golden Flower Crown. I mean, this is just one of those nice like pale gold highlighters. Um, it's a little deeper in tone, put that there, but you know what? It might go with this one that's in the snake palette. There we go. So snake palette, hourglass, wet and wild, golden flower crown, very, very similar. I think it's a little deeper from hourglass over here than what you're getting in the, um, wet and wild, but these are like $4 or $5. So also keep that in mind. Now, as far as blushes go, I brought out all of mine from Milani and I brought out a couple from Essence as well. Milani makes a very similar baked formula to hourglass. They're both baked products are they made in Italy? Yes, <laughs> they're both made in Italy. So if you're looking to dupe out any hourglass blush, bronzer, Milani doesn't have finishing powders, but highlighters even, Milani is going to be the brand that is going to be able to dupe the formula over here in hourglass, like 110%. You guys know that milani baked blushes they retail for about between eight and ten dollars this is a beautiful shade this shade i had in mind for this one down here that's in the snake palette this one is bellissimo bronze but there was also another shade let's see let's look at this one this is a deeper shade kind of put it next to the snake palette down there this one is called uh cocoa felicita those are nice for deeper skin tones. This one right here, I think it was this one that I was trying to remember. So here's the one from Milani. This one is uh, Sunrise Serenita. Swatch this. They feel the same too when I'm swatching them. So I'll put that one. Let me make sure I remove that highlighter. So I'll put Milani right there. Such a beautiful orange shimmer blush. And then let's swatch this one that's in the snake palette. Let's see what it looks like. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty good dupe, <laughs> in my opinion. Very nice. Um, let's try, let's see, what else do I have in here? This one is uh, Guadalina. Oh, that is so pretty. I don't know that we have anything in either of these palettes that would look like this one. Let me do that one right here. So this is Milani. Maybe let's try this one in the snake palette. So I think the one in the snake palette is not gonna be as shimmery as the Milani one. But you can see the shades are almost spot on. Let's try another one. Uh, what is this one? Rose de Oro. Right there. Hmm. I don't know that that would necessarily go with any of the ones. These are more like pink and mauve tones that are in the Jellyfish palette. This one is uh, Luminoso. Oh, this is a fan fave. I need to replace this one, but this is such a beautiful peach blush. 
I don't think this would uh, be a dupe for any of the ones that are in there. Maybe these from Essence. This is also a baked formula. Where is this one made? Made in Italy. <laughs> there we go. These are like four or five dollars at Ulta. Let's watch this one. This one is um, Pretty Peach. I'll put that one right here. Now I'm going to see what this looks like. Oh no, that's going to be too, yeah. That's not going to be a good dupe, but they're both very light. You can see them there. Here is Essence. Here is Hourglass. I can add a little bit more there. Um, let's try, I want to try and dupe this shade up here that's in the Jellyfish palette. I have these two. I'm thinking this one. This one is in the shade Coral, Cool Coral. Uh, let's see, I'm running out of room. Let's do that one right here. Now let me get this one from the Jellyfish. Oh my goodness. Wow. I knew all of these baked blushes, like they just have a very similar formula and very similar shades. So, okay, Essence, Hourglass, Milani, Hourglass, Milani, Hourglass, Essence, Hourglass. There are some dupes for the blushes. Um, as far as the highlighters go, well, I showed you already the Wet n Wild ones. But yeah, guys, I mean, those are those are some bit, pretty good alternatives that the drugstore offers us. Now what I want to do is actually use these palettes. So we're going to go back to my filming desk so I can apply these palettes to my face. Okay, so blank canvas, obviously other than the lips and the eyes. I'm going to go in first with the owl palette, which is technically the snake palette. This is the deeper palette. And I'm going to go in with the bronzer. I don't mind a deeper bronzer on my forehead. I feel like I have a big forehead. It can take a lot of bronzer. So I'm going to start with this one on the forehead and then I'll dip into the jellyfish and use the bronzer a little bit right here on my cheekbones and on my nose. Now I'm going to use my Refer 05 to start applying. Being that this is the deepest bronzer in all three of the palettes, doesn't look that deep, right? It needs to be deeper. It needs to be a deeper shade so that more people will be able to utilize it. So I think this looks really nice. It was easy to blend into my skin. And it does have that diffused look, that diffused appearance. Why do I have this hair here? Go away. So now I'm going to change brushes and I'm going to dip into the Jellyfish palette and use the bronzer that is in this one. I'm going to use it a little bit right here on my cheekbones and then to contour slash bronze up the nose. And I'm going to take that on my BH Cosmetics Emerald Brush. Just do a little bit right in here. I've kind of stopped wearing bronzer like on my cheekbones and stuff. I know I've talked about this several times, but maybe it's your first time here. I've been playing up the blush more. So I've been kind of skipping bronzer on the cheekbones, but I love a good bronzer on my nose. So, and of course, always on the forehead. This is a very light shade. This is going to be perfect for those of you with a very fair complexion. And again, these can be built up and they are very easy to blend out. That baked formula just makes them so easy and just user friendly, but we need deeper shades. That's for sure. Now I'm going to do a little bit on my nose. I don't, I'm not one to contour. Like I don't use like cool tone shades. So, you know, typically contour is with cool tone. This is more of like a neutral tone, I would say bronzer. I just put a little bit right there, a little bit under here. That's it, just to give some warmth. 
to my nose. Okay, now we're going to try playing with the blushes and highlighters. Obviously, I won't get to use all of the shades, but I'll use enough to where you can see how the palettes are, or these blushes and highlighters are going to perform. All right, so I'm going to go in first with the Snake Color Story. I really want to use this shade. This shade is really, really speaking to me right now, and I'm using this um, Olimar Cosmetics Brightening Blush. I'm going to focus that here. I think the shade is going to be perfect for my eye look. That is so pretty. So, so pretty. I'm going to use another shade, blush shade in this palette. I just really wanted this orange like right here, right here close to the eye. Now with that same brush, I'm going to go into, I think I'm going to go in with this shade up here. Same palette. I'm going to just kind of stamp this and work it upwards. I'm going to go back in with the first shade just to mesh them together. Now for highlighter, I'm going to try this one on my Morphe M501. Oh, that's pretty. I think it just blends with the blushes so seamlessly. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. I'm going to go back in with just this blush brush just to make sure everything's pressed in. So they're performing really well. Now I'm going to go into the Jellyfish palette for the left side. And what I'm going to do is, well, these are the only two blushes. And then this is a highlighter, and then these are the two finishing powders, which we'll do the finishing powders at the end. But I'll use a combination of both of the, the two blushes. Now I'm using the deeper tone on a refer 04, and I'm just going to start right here, like on the cheekbone and a little underneath. I'm not going to take it out too far. Now I'm going to go in with the lightest blush shade in the palette, same brush, and I'm going to focus that like right here on the apple of the cheek and closer to the eye. So you can definitely see these are more, I guess, cool toned, berry toned, pink toned shades that are in the Jellyfish palette versus over here that these are more, you know, fall tones, orangey tones, warm tones. Okay, I think that looks beautiful. That was very, very easy to blend. Now I'm going to go in with the only highlighter shade that is in the Jellyfish palette. The same Morphe highlighter brush. Wow. Highlighters are something Hourglass does amazing well. Add a little bit more blush just to blend. Now we're going to add a finishing powder and I'm only going to use one finishing powder and it's going to be in the jellyfish palette and I'm going to use the first shade up here. I'm going in with a big fluffy Lunar Beauty brush and you just dust this all over. I tend to avoid my nose but you can definitely do this like under the eye area wherever you want to diffuse or maybe you went in a little too heavy handed with your blush and bronzer, this will definitely help to tone that down a bit. I feel like sometimes after I do a finishing powder like this, um, I go back in with the blush just to bring it back a little bit, but I actually don't think that that took away any of the brightness of the blushes. I think everything just looks really good looks really nice and I'm wearing a wet n wild foundation by the way in case you're curious but everything will be in the description box guys um 
I think we've covered everything. I think we've covered everything. Let me go ahead and wrap up today's video and I'll share with you guys my final thoughts on these new Hourglass holiday palettes for 2023. So what are my thoughts on these Hourglass palettes? Well, I don't like that they went up in price because I'm pretty sure they were $80 last year. Now they're $90, but I understand because everything has gone up in price. What I do love is the outward packaging. I love all the animals they chose. And once again, 5% of the profits go to benefit the non-human rights project, which is an animal uh, conservation activist group. They help the endangered species. So I love that about Hourglass. They're always involved in you know preserving the wildlife and all of that. Jellyfish palette was the first palette that caught my eye. I thought that this was going to be the only palette that I was going to order, but at the last minute, I decided to go ahead and get the snake color story in the owl packaging. We'll get to that in a second. If you have fair skin, light skin, I mean, these shades are going to be perfect for you. This is a really nice bronzer for those of you with fair skin. That highlighter, it's the one I have on over here, is just stunning. Absolutely beautiful. The blushes are beautiful. It's a very foolproof, easy formula to work with. Made in Italy. I mean, you can't get better than that when it comes to baked powder products. As for the owl palette, remember the owl palette is the empty palette. You have to pick one of the three pre-made color stories to put in here. And the color story that I went with was the snake color story, which is the deepest color story out of the three palettes. Do I think that this is deep enough? No, I think Hourglass needs to continue to work on that. This should be a lot deeper than what it is. I have it on over here and I'm of a fair to light skin tone and this looks great on me. I have the bronzer up here on my forehead. I love this blush. This blush is so good. This blush might be my favorite shade out of both palettes, but I think it's a beautiful color story, definitely a more warm tone color story. Even the highlighter, it was able to work with me. It was able to work on my fair to light skin. I'm going to let you be the judge whether you think that these palettes are worth owning. I would say if you collect them every year, then you're at least going to buy one, if not all of them. Um, I think it's worth picking up at least one, one that will work for your skin tone. They're really high quality products. I mean, they're really good products. You get what you're paying for. It's a luxury brand. You know, the pricing is what it is for the six different shades. I went with the ones that had the most new shades. Snake palette, which is my owl palette, has uh, five out of six new shades. So this one had the most new shades. And Jellyfish, as is, had four out of the six uh, were new shades. So that wraps up today's video, guys. Let me know your thoughts on these new Hourglass palettes. Which one was your favorite? Are you going to be picking any of them up? Maybe you've ordered already. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. I want to thank you guys so much for watching another one of my videos. You all have a great day or night, wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated, drink that water, and I'm going to see you all very soon. Bye.